YouTube, it's Diane TDI24 here, and today I'm going to show you how to uh, make stop motions over um, 10 frames per second on iMovie. So, I have not figured out how to do voices with these. Well, I mean, I have, but not like an easy way. So, um, let's just get started. So, first of all, you're going to want to um, do a new project, or you might already have one open. So, just create your new project. You don't need to create a new event because pictures. Um, they don't have to be put into an event. Okay, so then find your pictures that you want to use. Let me get mine real quick. So then you're gonna wanna highlight them, however many you're gonna use. I'm not gonna use too many since I'm just showing you guys how to do that. Um, and then, so we'll import them. So I'm using 25 pictures. So iMovie has these this uh, auto zoom thing uh, where I'll like see how it zooms in like that on each picture. Um, I'm not sure yet how to get rid of that on all pictures, just like one button. And I've looked up and then I can't find out, but I've figured out how to do it kind of easily. So, um, but before we do that, you're going to go to clip adjustments on one of any one of the things. Um, I just picked the first one. And then you're going to do 0 one second and you're probably thinking that's 10 frames per second not over but we'll get to that soon so then do a, applies to all stills um yeah so now they're all short but yeah okay so then click out of any of the pictures and you're gonna go to um window and then cropping ken burns and rotation so after you've clicked that now you're gonna be able to instead of having to like click each picture and do all these weird things on it you can just click one and then hit fit and click another and so yeah just hit fit on all of your pictures which if you're doing like one that has you know 300 pictures this is gonna be a pain but you know i mean if you're also doing one on 300 uh with 300 pictures i'm sure it's you're doing oh i don't know i said the back um you're also doing a bigger movie which you'd normally even take all wrong so this it takes a little while actually kind of start from the back which be easier to start from the front but um so you're just gonna hit fit but you know you can do this a different way uh like clicking each picture and then like going to the you know their little things but this is a lot easier just to go from the main thing without yeah so sorry this is taking a second okay so now they're all fit um and i it's kind of annoying that they do like it looks nice but see now you got this 10 frames per second thing which it looks cool but not so don't add any titles or voices to it if you're going to do voices because i'm well i'm not going to really go into details on voices but just if you are planning on doing voices don't add it in right here because then soon they'll sound they'll get all messed up okay so after you've done this no titles no nothing um you're going to want to go to share then export movie don't use export using QuickTime. I mean, may, those might work, but export movie just works the best. So I'm just gonna title it Squid One. Okay, and then I'm gonna do this HD 720 pixels because it can do it on most of them. So just do that and then export to your desktop. So it's not taking very long because it's not a long movie. It's only 3.2 seconds, so mine's gonna be really short. Okay, when you're done with that, you're going to do a new project, an even newer one. So I'm just going to name this Squid 2. And don't want to do all those extra things like add and cross to solve for any weird things. Or they have some American play the frames for second. Okay, wait, no, I don't want to do that. Okay, so go to File, Import, Movies. Okay, File, Import, Movies. And after you've gone on that, then you'll just have to look for that video you just did. So mine is titled Squid One, so where is it? I see Squid. Squid One. Yeah, no. It's not organized. Oh, state modified, not by name. So after you pick your movie, it will load it in there and it's just gonna put in your new event. So if you don't want it in your old event, then you can create a new event, but I don't care because this is just my Lego stuff. So I want to put in my intro on my video. So here is my intro. So I'm just going to drag, highlight all that, then drag it in. And that's already the right frames per second that I want to use. So now this, I highlight that, and then put it in there like that. So now I have that, but it's not. The frame rate haven't changed yet. So now I'm going to go, you can just double click on it, 
real fast, and then you can do times two or two hundred percent, which would make it twenty frames per second. 400%, which would make it 40 frames per second, and then 800%, which would make it 80 frames per second. So, I don't see why you'd want to do 80, because then, if you move too big of movements, then it wouldn't look nice, and then 40, that's still pretty high, so I'm going to just do 20. Uh, two, yeah, 20 frames per second. So now, it's made it half the speed, and my video was super short anyway, so, since I didn't want to have to do a big one for you guys, so it's really short, but, you know, I'm, of course, you guys are going to do longer ones. So, um, but see if you would have done voices in the old one, then they would have gotten all messed up, because they would have been sped up too. So now if you want to add in some titles, you can, so, just add in one real quick right here. Um, I'll do these stars, because he's like a space squid. And then squid. So, yes, you can do him that. And if you add in titles, then they'll be too fast, and at first, and then people couldn't see him. And then I'll just do this organic main title. And then Duncan TDI24. So yeah, see now um, you can play it all together. So there's my intro. That's I didn't. That's not 20 frames per second. That's only 10. Um, I might speed it up because I don't know. It looks it's too slow. So squid. No, but dance it. See, it was so short, but gets the point across to you guys. So I hope this helps. Um, this was actually request requested by someone. Um, yeah. So thank you for watching, and bye.